Well, here we are on the uh, road less traveled uh, once again. And I am in an amazing place. I am on a stream that leads into a stream <laughs> that leads into the Upper Salmon River up by Mount Hood. And this is astoundingly beautiful. Um, I'm going to walk a little bit as we go, but um, this stream is just, while small, gorgeous. And this valley I find myself in is just amazing. And the trees, and they reach for the light. <sighs> what a beautiful day. I was studying the 23rd Psalm. Ah. And uh, tearing it apart and looking at what it uh, truly says and how we've translated. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Lord Yahweh. <sighs> the breath. He's my guide. He's my shepherd. There is nothing else <laughs> that I need. I am in lack for nothing. He causes me to lie down in the most beautiful places. <laughs> oh my word. He leads me beside still waters. Oh my word. This is uh, unbelievably beautiful here. This rock is huge. He leads me by the still waters where, where I can catch my breath. And it turns my life around. It changes my direction is what it says. <laughs> and he guides me in paths of infinite truth. Let's go this way. For uh, his name is all that is true and right and just and good. Oh my goodness, this rock is insanely huge. And even if I find myself in deep valleys of darkness, deep darkness, and I certainly have this year in my life, I've got nothing to fear, nothing to be afraid of. Because, Lord, your presence is with me all the time. You know what's interesting is there's going to come a day when you prepare a feast for me. But it won't be just for me, it will also be for my enemies. They'll be there, you will invite them also. Let's see if I can get up this rock. And we're going to fellowship together in the breath. Because where the breath is, there is unity and oneness. Set that right there. Oh. And you cover my head. And call me to leadership, to lead others to you. Oh my word, you really have to get out more often. This is astoundingly beautiful. Look at this.
without a doubt, your goodness, God, all that is beautiful and right and good, and your love will be with me every day of my life. And I love this part of the passage like a never-ending stream. Your goodness will flow. And I will make my home I make my home in your presence, Lord. Today <laughs> and tomorrow, oh my word, you just can't even imagine. This camera does not capture the immensity of these trees. But today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. Forever, I will set up my tent in your presence. Huh. Isn't it awesome? It is an awesome psalm. And that rock right there is so huge and you just can't even, you just can't even believe it. It's gotta be as tall as my two-story house. Um, and here you've got a, a game trail coming down. Anyway, I, all I gotta say is get out. And this tree that I'm standing on actually is a home. Earlier I saw a marmot go in here. Came cruising along here. And uh, this marmot just, my foot was right by it. And uh, but they've made their home here in the presence of God. You know what's amazing is even in death, this tree here, this cedar gave birth to a new one. And life goes on. And life goes on. You know, we have made God and turned him into a religion. And God came and Jesus came, God in the form of man, and said, I want to tell you the truth. I'm life. You may say, I don't believe in God. And I'm with you. I don't believe in the God that religion presents but I believe in the God of truth and the God of life. And if you believe that life exists, <laughs> there's no way around it. God exists. You know how I know? <laughs> I'm here. And I am in his presence. <coughs> it's pretty awesome. Pretty amazing. Whoa. I want to challenge you. Get out there. Get out here. Get away from all the, the crap that we as men, humanity, have created. You can find yourself in the presence of God. It's pretty cool. From the road less traveled, and this is definitely it. I'm Joel Marshall, signing off. See ya.